Thank you, Mr. Ackerman. Thank Mr. You, Burton, Chairman of the Subcommittee on Europe and Eurasia. First of all, in answer to my good, colleague, good friend, Mr. Ackerman, Congress approved going into Iraq before we went into Iraq. Now let me read what the War Powers Act says. The War Powers Resolution states that the President's powers as Commander-in-Chief to introduce U.S. forces into hostilities or imminent hostilities can only be exercised pursuant to, one, a declaration of war, two, specific statutory authorization, or three, a national emergency created by an attack on the United States or its forces. It requires the President in every possible instance to consult with Congress before introducing American armed forces into hostilities or imminent hostilities unless there has been a declaration of war or other specific congressional authorization. None of that happened. And yet we're spending hundreds of millions of dollars and probably billions of dollars involved in this conflict. And my concern is, and I hope you'll answer this, Mr. Secretary, why are we not in uh, the Ivory Coast? Thousands of people are being killed every day by a leader who was thrown out of office and won't leave because there was a democracy move there and he's still there and he's killing people every single day. Now why is that not as important as what's going on in Libya? And I'd like to know, uh, this has been brought up a couple times, how many of these citizen soldiers fighting against Gaddafi, how many are people who are tied in with terrorist organizations that killed Americans in Iraq and Afghanistan? And, and do we know who they are? Do we have any idea? The Secretary of State, when asked this question a couple of days ago, said, well, we don't know all the players. We're looking into it. It's a heck of a situation when we go into a conflict and we don't know who we're, who we're supporting. I mean, this, this could be the Muslim Brotherhood. It could be Al-Qaeda. It could be... Uh, Taliban, it could be a combination of all three, and we really don't know. And we haven't decided whether or not we're going to give arms to these people. Will we be arming people who do not have our interests at stake? The whole northern tier of Africa, uh, the, in the Middle East, the Persian Gulf, the Suez Canal, the Straits of Hormuz, all, all, the Gulf, all of that is, is, is up in, uh, in an uproar right now. How far do we go and where do we go next? And, and why isn't the Congress consulted in advance? The War Powers Act, in my opinion, is very, very clear on this. And, and then we talk about the Arab League. You know, Saudi Arabia gets so much money from us, it isn't even funny. And, and many of the other Arab countries are, are well healed. Why can't they pay for this? And if they aren't paying for this, why not? And if they are paying for it, how much are they kicking in? Or is the American taxpayer on the hook for all of it, along with maybe some of our NATO allies? And... Uh, one of the things that concerns me is this. We're going to try to be antiseptic about this and make sure we don't kill any civilians. We're just after the bad guys. Well, if Gaddafi's got control of cities and he's moving into cities when the clouds are overhead and we can't uh, impo impose the no-fly zone, we've got Gaddafi's soldiers in among the civilians. How are you going to get them out? You're not going to get them out by dropping bombs on them without killing civilians. There's no question. Civilians will be killed. So what do we do? Do we support boots on the ground? Is, is France and, and Britain and other of our uh, NATO allies going in there? And ultimately, will we go in there? All of these are questions that should have been looked into before we went into this conflict. And you know, there's a lot of places we can go to war if we really want to, but we've got a war in Afghanistan. We just finished in Iraq. That's still problematic in a lot of people's minds. And, and we don't have the money to do all these things. We have a $14 trillion national debt. We're sinking in red ink. We're $1.4 trillion in the debt this year. We can't reach an agreement uh, with the Senate right now on cutting spending uh, uh, of $61 billion. And now we're seeing, I see that there's going to be a compromise of $33 billion. And we got a $1.4 trillion <laughs> deficit this year. This country is in big trouble. And we don't need to buy more trouble by getting into a conflict that isn't necessary and in our national interest. I don't see Libya as in our national interest. Obviously, we want to protect civilians and people who are being killed, innocent civilians. But where, how do you pick and choose? And, and why aren't we in places like the Ivory Coast or Syria or elsewhere? These are questions that need to be answered and should have been answered before we went into this. And Congress should have been consulted. The War Powers Act, in my opinion, is very clear on this. 
Thank you. Thank you.